Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley Skyflyer. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy makeup look good for every day, for school, work, or whatever you want to wear it to. So let's jump right in! Okay, so first I'm just going to start by covering um, the major imperfections. Now, instead of doing foundation all over my face, I just go conceal the spots that need it. Okay, now I uh, did the cream. Now I'm just going to quickly do the powder. I would show you, but it's uh the name is all rubbed off of it so there's no point but it's just the cover girl powder in I think tawny <laughs> yep so let's let's do that real quick just to set the um cream stuff we just put down do that real fast doo -doo -doo. i mainly focus on the underneath my eyes and um in the acne scarves Okay, now I'm just going to add the color back into my face with some blush. I'm using NYX in Cinnamon. Now we're going to do the eyes really fast. We're going to do a wing, winged eyeliner and cat eye look. So just grab your favorite liquid liner and let's do this. I just take... Um, the water, wait, what is it called? The lower lash line, and just follow that line straight up, and then I close my eye and do that. That, and then I fill in the blanks and make a line across. You guys can see that, hopefully. Yeah, but it's really easy. Alrighty, so now let's put a little bit of mascara on. Just one coat. I'm not gonna do like super, like a ton, but just one coat just to so show that you, um, have lashes so I'm just gonna use wet wild uh, whatever mega wear whatever <laughs> by the way you guys can while you're having your mascara wands out uh, you can just do a little touch of mascara on your bottom lash line too uh, how I put my um, mascara on my lower lashes I put it at the base of my lash Lash, lash line and uh, wiggle back and forth so I'm not really doing this like combing through it really I'm just kind of wiggling it around because um, it's not so much that I'm trying to make them look longer I'm just trying to make them look existent because after putting on like all the uh, concealer and powder underneath my eyes some of the powder gets on my lower lashes and kind of uh, makes the lashes the same color as my skin makes it blend in if that makes sense so just putting the black um, mascara back on there just just to kind of color them up again kind of makes them come back to life so they're not blending in with my skin so I'm gonna brush out my eyebrows a little bit so I just have a blank um, what is it called uh, uh, what is this thing called again Mascara wand. I was gonna say something else though. It's a mascara wand. Um, it's like the the hard. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Um, I don't know. If can, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like the hard ones. It's not the pipe cleaner looking ones. Ugh, I don't know how to explain it, but anyway. Uh, take your mascara one that's blank I just kept this one as like a comb for my eyebrows and I'm gonna brush up my eyebrows and get them prepped for product so just like this just brush them up like that this is how I've been um doing my eyebrows lately I've been like um, brushing this part first part up like this and then I smooth the rest of it down like that 
so up I hope you guys can see that up and then I smooth the rest of it down like that I don't know for some reason I've been liking the look of these these first few hairs being kind of more straight straight up mm -hmm. but um <laughs> Uh, yeah, you get the point. So now they're combed out to where I kind of want them to be. And now I'm going to put the product. Lately, I've been doing my pencil. Oh, okay, I gotta find it. So I take my brown, dark brown um, pencil and I sharpen it real quick just to make sure it's really sharp and we can get nice, sharp. Uh, precise line on my brows and lately I've just been putting product on my brows where I need it so I just like to define the um, tail more and um, the arch more so that's so I kind of kind of go half my brow so let's do this Oh, I also extended a smidget or um brow tail. I extended a smidget. So um yeah, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> Hope you guys can see. Boom boom boom. And I fill in a little bit where the arch is. So, um, like that, kind of. Do the other side the same way. If you need to go back in and sharpen your pencil again, kind of like what I need to do right now, but I kind of feel like it, you can go ahead and do that. Point. So like that, kind of. Okay, it looks okay. And then I take um, another brow product, and this helps brush out my brows. And it also, oh, let's see. Let's see. um, what am I saying? Uh, brush out my brows and it also helps fill them in a little bit too but I still am only gonna take it on the uh, half the last half of my brows so yeah hope that makes sense okay so I kind of brush it up like that and brush down and on the other side And if they're not perfect, that's okay, because we can go back in and um, fix any uh, mistakes with concealer. So what I'm doing right now is kind of trying to blend where the regular brow ends and the fake brow begins. Kind of like where, wherever the product stops and starts, whatever. So you don't have um, like a line of demarcation of where the brow product started and where it ends or whatever. So there we go. I'm just blending that. And I'm gonna brush up this part of my brow again just to make sure it stays up. <laughs> now, um, I was looking. I'm, I'm kind of looking in the viewfinder, but uh, sometimes how things look on camera doesn't look that way in real life. Like things are kind of. Um, 
you know what I'm trying to say. Like a lot of my imperfections are blurred on camera, but in real life, things be looking different. So just checking on my mirror just to make sure everything looks good. Okay, so I'm going back in with my concealer. Okay, this is actually a foundation, I think. Yeah, oil feed foundation, but I kind of use it as a concealer. So yeah. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand and grab my little flat brush again. You know, I've been using this brush, the one that looks like that. But I kind of wanted to try. I saw this on the Instagram. Someone was using like um a uh put a little too much up in the back of my hand, I put way too much. <laughs> Only a little bit. I put like way too much. But anyway, what did I say? Oh yeah, on Instagram I saw somebody use a eyeliner brush. So I'm gonna try that if I can find my eyeliner brush. But I'm gonna do one side with the eyeliner brush and one side with just my regular flat brush. I'm gonna see what looks better. So I'm gonna just trace along. Even though I didn't put any product right here, I'm still gonna trace along. Ooh, I put so much. Uh trace along my Brown. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I actually like doing this part. Um, oh, can you guys see the see? I'm like having. I told you I have to. I usually have a mirror up really close to my face, and I'm not used to filming, so I have to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, what was I about to say? Uh, oh my god, I told what the guy I was about to say. Oh, yeah, yeah, now I remember. Um, I usually like do this part before I do um, my eyeliner. Because I put my eyeliner so winged out so far, it almost meets my brow. So, I don't like, I have to be like really careful not to hit this concealer with my um, eyeliner. So, just a little tip if you want to do this part, do it um, before you do your liquid liner. Uh, so, it kind of fail. I couldn't find my eyeliner brush. So, I'm tired of looking for it. So, I just, I'm just ready to be done with this now. So, never mind. That was kind of a fail. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Sorry, I couldn't couldn't find my eyeliner brush. That was kind of a fail. <laughs> but oh well. Okay, so that's done. So, you know, just putting the product where you need it is key to making the makeup look, makeup process quicker. You know, I just put the concealer where I need it. I just put the um, brow product where I need it. You know, I've been using like a lip color. Um, I think where I had it. Oh, here it is. Wait, did I put it in here? Yeah, I think I put it in here. I um, I got a little tip for you guys. Um, uh, I have these two lip glosses. One's lip gloss and one's like a liquid lipstick, and it's not my color. Like, I thought this was going to be like a nude kind of color, but it looks really crazy on me. So, what I've been doing is putting on, still putting it on, but just putting on a tiny bit. Like this. Like that. And blending it out with my finger. Like that. I need my mirror because I can't really see. <laughs> Oh, okay, I put a little too much on. But anyway, the point is, when I use the applicator and just put it all over my lips, it looks way too crazy. Like, not my color. But when I put a tiny bit on, okay, I put a lot on. This is kind of a fail. I just put a little bit on. And like pat it with my finger. It kind of helps dull down the color a little bit. 
and um, it makes it so it's not so intense. Like in real life, this and on camera it might look okay, but in real life it looks a little crazy, a little put a little bit too much. But anyway, the point is, you put a little bit on and then you dab it on top of that, and then you put a lip gloss on. Any lip gloss. So that is makeup look. So there you guys have it. A quick, easy makeup look. Good for school, work, going around town doing errands. Anything you want to wear to. It's very simple, natural looking, but still really cute, isn't it? But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like it if you did. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye-bye.